Hi, I'm George, and in this video, we'll be doing a quick and easy painting on canvas effect. Here's the original, and here it is with the painting on canvas effect applied to it. Now, if you like this video, hit the like button, click on share and subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos, and check out my complete training course. There's a link for that right down there in the description. We'll start off by removing this effect layer here, just trash that, there we go. Let's now make a duplicate of our background layer. Right click and choose duplicate layer and choose OK. And this will be hide that background. That's just a safety protection. In case we mess this up, we can always come back down here to the background and try it again. OK, now it's a real fast and easy technique and it uses the filter gallery. Go up here to filter, come down to filter gallery. It's the second one right there. And in here, there's the filter. Let's go up here to artistic and you want dry brush right there. And it looks kind of strange. Normally you wouldn't be pushing this this high up. Maybe you'd have it down here someplace, seven or so, and you have your texture down here a little bit. And it puts in a real nice effect, and it kind of looks like a painting. Not a bad way to go. But once you apply a texture on top of this, it tends to hide a lot of this. We have to really accentuate the dry brush effect to work with the secondary filter, which is the texture filter. So I'll push the brush size clear to the top and texture clear to the top and I'll leave detail clear at the bottom. The more detail you have, the more realistic it looks and the softer the effect is actually. So let's keep that clear to the bottom. Okay, now to make this work, we need to have two of these effects applied to the same picture. And you can do that right inside here. And that's why this area over here where the effect is showing is so large because this is kind of like layers. You can come down here, click on this button right there, and there is a second filter being applied. Let's change this one, come to Texturizer, so I have texturizer on top, and in this, there's kind of a small scaling, and here's where if your scaling is the size of the texture in here. I have mine set for canvas, and we'll push this all the way to the top. The relief is kind of the shadowing. The more you go, the deeper it looks, but it also just kind of takes over the picture like that. So we'll set our relief here at 5, and then lighting angle doesn't really do a whole lot in here on this. I tend to like using the top left for most of my lighting angles. And there we go. That's that painting effect on canvas. And as you can see, it's pretty fast and pretty easy. Let's go ahead and just choose OK. And there it is. So let's just show the background again. So there it is before. There's our original photograph. And here it is with those overlapping filter gallery effects. So sometimes these fast and easy techniques can be just as powerful, just as interesting as the more complex ones. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you click on share and subscribe as well. Check out my channel for hundreds more Photoshop Elements videos. And of course, take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, and I'll see you next time.